Want to give the ATO less of your hard-earned crypto gains? There's a way to pay less tax this year, and CoinLink can help you do it. Before we jump in, the information in this video is for educational purposes only and is not tax, financial, or legal advice. Also, the examples I mentioned might not exactly match your situation. So as always, speak to a qualified professional if you're looking for tax advice. Hello, my name is Nelly, and today we'll be talking about how to save money on your Australian crypto taxes using a strategy called tax loss harvesting with Coinly's new tax optimization dashboard. So first up, what is tax loss harvesting? It's a strategy that helps you reduce your net capital gains and therefore reduce your capital gains tax. When tax loss harvesting, an investor sells crypto at a loss to create a capital loss that can offset against their capital gains and reduce their overall tax bill. For example, let's say you bought one BTC for $20,000 and one Ethereum for $1,000. The price of Ethereum rises to $3,000 while the price of BTC falls to $18,000. You want those Ethereum gains, so you sell at $3,000. Without tax loss harvesting, you're liable to pay capital gains tax on your $2,000 gain. But with tax loss harvesting, you'll sell your one BTC at a loss giving you a $2,000 capital loss, which you can offset against your gain, meaning you'll have no tax liability. In some instances, investors may also buy back the asset they've sold at a reduced price, but there are specific rules about when this is allowed in Australia. Timing is important. In order to realize a loss that can be used to offset gains, you need to offload losses before the end of the financial year, at the end of June. A wash sale is when an investor sells an asset at a loss and purchases the same asset back with the intention of creating a tax benefit. It's also known as a paper loss or artificial loss. The ATO is aware investors do this and as such has a tax loss selling rule for capital assets to stop investors from being able to offset those losses against gains. Many other tax offices around the world specify a particular time period where an investor selling and repurchasing an asset would be considered a wash sale, usually around 30 to 60 days. The ATO does not though. Instead, the ATO says there are a number of factors that may constitute a wash sale, and it comes down to intent. If you're considered to be conducting a wash sale, capital losses as a result of these transactions can't be claimed and offset against capital gains. Coinly doesn't just calculate your crypto taxes, it can also help you optimize your taxes with our tax optimization tool. Once you've imported all your transaction data into Coinly, you can preview your gains and losses for the current financial year in the tax reports tab. The tax optimization dashboard can be found as a separate tab within your primary dashboard. Here you can get an overview of your gains and losses. Realize capital gains shows your capital gains and losses from assets you've sold this tax year, split between short term and long term, only for countries that track short and long term assets separately. Post harvest gains gives you an updated overview of your gains if you were to sell some of your holdings. It updates in real time as you work with the asset table. And the asset table is where you get into the details and plan your next moves. Asset information lists each asset you own, including the amount and its current market value. You can experiment with updating the market rate for an asset to see how that would impact the potential gains. Gains analysis breaks down your potential gains or losses into short term and long term. And this is of course, if your country tracks short and long term assets separately. Selective preview, the checkboxes let you play out what if scenarios. Tick a box and the dashboard shows you the updated potential gains or losses as if you've sold that asset. Filtering options, for even more control, you can customize your dashboard view with these filters. Assets with unknown price, show or hide assets without a current market rate. Assets with positive gains, show or hide assets that are currently profitable in the long and short term and may be suitable for tax loss harvesting. Using these features, you can make more informed decisions to help you lower your tax liability in a way that makes sense for your situation. Practical example of using the tax optimization dashboard. Let's say you've been holding both Bitcoin and Ethereum for less than a year. Bitcoin has increased in value since you bought it, while Ethereum has seen a decrease. With the end of your tax year approaching, you decide to review your portfolio on the tax optimization dashboard. First, realize capital gains. You notice that you have some realized short-term gains from earlier in the year from selling other assets. Two, asset table. 
Here you see your holdings in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin shows a substantial unrealized gain while Ethereum is at a loss. Note that we have selected the option to include assets with positive gains. Number three, strategic selection. To balance your realized gains and reduce your overall tax liability, you consider selling some Ethereum. You select the checkbox next to Ethereum in the asset table. The post-harvest gain section updates to reflect the loss from Ethereum against your realized gains. Number four, reviewing the impact. After selecting Ethereum, you see that the potential loss from selling it could offset some of your realized gains, which may lower your tax bill. In this scenario, by using the tax optimization dashboard, you've been able to make a strategic decision that might lead to a more favorable tax situation if you were actually to execute the sale of your Ethereum. It's important to remember that actual tax impact can vary based on individual circumstances and consulting with a tax professional is always recommended. This dashboard is a tool to assist in identifying assets that can be sold at a loss to reduce your total capital gains, or it can be used to identify profitable assets in order to decrease your total capital losses for the year. You'll be able to view your individual holdings and your unrealized losses and simulate selling these assets to realize a loss and see how it impacts your tax bill. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below. I'm going to leave our resources linked in the description below as usual, including our help center, feedback forum, and how to contact our customer support team if you need help with your CoinLet account. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.